Hello everyone, Nanomite Gaming here. I'm very sorry about the bass in the background. Unfortunately, my upstairs neighbor is jamming and can't really s stop it. I was right about to record. So anyway, <sighs> man, channel drifts. Ugh. I was lucky to get one done last season. One, I couldn't do the next one that I tried. And so this one's pretty particularly bad, especially for me, what with my vision. I will be showing the success first, then the one right before that that was a fail. And okay, so this map that we're going to be going to is a particularly pain, uh, annoying map for me because first of all, the lines on the map are very small and they don't stand out very well for me. So. As I'm moving, I can't focus on the map because of my vision. I have to focus on the center of the screen and wherever there's enemies. So all I can really do is do my best and try not to fumble. And fumble I did a lot. I want to say this one right here was my seventh try, maybe my sixth. I don't know. Could have been worse, I guess, but you know, Racks and Tracks is like, oh, you know, anyone can do this, anyone can, can, can learn this skill set, you know, anyone can manage this, anyone can figure it out. Once you get used to it, you'll get it done. Well, this, this took me too much and it was very, very frustrating because it's hard for me to tell when Elise are going to be there. And I noticed that when I was following the way he was showing, I noticed that there really weren't, it seemed like there weren't Elise where his were exactly. Sometimes there were like the first two packs, but it seemed like a lot of times they just, if, I don't know, it just didn't want to, things weren't grooving, I guess, things weren't jiving, and it was very stressful, very frustrating. I absolutely, I don't want to, I really don't, because it's not good to hate things, but I, mostly I would say to a, to a fair degree, I hate challengers because they're too stressful. They they put me to a point where once I've just tried so much and I fail for the slightest mistake, being so close up to a certain point, oh my god, please, I can't, you know, I can't, and it, it, it causes me to break down because I deal with chronic anxiety at times, and it's just bad, it's rough, it's rough. But this time I finally managed, all I could figure was, okay, we'll go forward, and when it, it just tap, 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 tap for the most part, for the small ones. And this time you'll notice I got, I got pretty lucky, I want to say, or, or pretty good with I, the power gloves. I thought there was a power glove right there, but there wasn't. So, and so that area right where you go up the stairs was supposed to be an elite pack right there, but they, they can move, so sometimes it's hard to tell if one of them, if you've missed one of them and it's gone down to the left, and, oh, it's horrible for me. I'm not trying to complain, I'm just trying to set the stage here for how stressful these are for me and how it seems like a lot of them now, to be fair, I don't normally try that many because they seem hopeless to me, but since I managed to do one last season, I have to try to do each one. Well, the first one is where it really matters, so that I can actually get a good start. For example, I have some notes that I recorded, or that I wrote down from Rax's video. It was a couple days ago, well, I want to say like four days ago, that, let me see, my notes here. Okay, so it's the, the routine for the start of the game, for the start of your season character, right? And this is... For me, it's a, an example for me, my necromancer, what, you, what I want to do when I start the game after I've done the challenge rift, that's, that's a prerequisite, because you're going to be involving, it's going to be involving building, or you know, forging weapons and also upgrading a weapon in hopes of getting blood tide blade. And so, first of all, yeah, it is... I need, I need, okay, okay, I'm in the wrong spot, okay, so accept challenge with, that, accept challenge with rewards, and then, yeah, that's required, you have to have that for this, and then forge weapons, 
one axe, level five, one dagger, level five, one two-handed axe, and that's level sixteen. So you want one level five dagger, uh, axe, dagger, and sword. The sword is for the enchantress. The two-handed axe is for when you're getting closer and you need a bigger weapon to do more damage. So, and on that you need, you need vitality, oh, intelligence and vitality. So, after that, you want to make a level 70 destruction scar, which is a two-handed axe. And on that you want life on hit and crowd control. And this is about our axes account this is what he, he what he does. Then you want to get a two-handed scythe. It doesn't matter what, but you want it to have level 30. I forgot to write that down. You want it to have you, well, you want to not you want you want to reroll it to have plus or, or rather level requirement reduction 30. Up to 30. 30 is the best. So and then you want to go and get can I ask you or how it's pronounced? And then you want to upgrade that and hope that you get a blood tide blade. But whatever you get, since it's so hard to get the materials or it's so rare, or you can only get them from challenge dungeons and there's only enough for one, I'm not really sure. Because I, yeah, I haven't actually upgraded one, so I don't know. I haven't upgraded a weapon before. So this will be a first. Anyway, so after you've got the blood tide blade if you were extremely lucky or whatever you got so what you want to do is go ahead and search the defense the merchant for any better level one gear that you can get that way when you're starting out you're not struggling you're not straggling and you can get to level five quicker so you can start using your better weapons and your enchantress can use her better weapon and then you want to gamble for a grasp of essence, essence I can't talk, gloves, which is for making corpse lance extremely powerful. And then you want the York's crown. And that's it. So that, that's, I try to keep it as short as possible. But that gives you the idea of what I'm talking about. So I, want, I wanted a base to work from since I, I main Necro mostly, except for when I want to mess around and try another class. Which I would like to be able to do that more often, but I want to get to 70 as quick as I can. And then I, I basically, I just want to keep evolving my progression. I want to get further each time. I still have not gotten a seasonal pet. I have not, which is depressing. I mean, it's not depressing, depressing, but it's very discouraging. And, you know, people like, okay, we're actually trying to, especially, for my example, because I don't listen to a whole lot, I've, I've listened to some Riker guys, but I don't know, I don't remember if he talks like that, but anyway, it seems like, you know, these people who are pro players, because they played for a long time, they play professionally to entertain people on YouTube and Twitch, you know, they think anything is easy because it's so easy to them. They think anybody can do it. And from my personal experience and viewpoint, it's not. Not anybody can do anything. But, so this time I, I just, by the grace of God, I managed to get lucky at the end there. But I did manage, so I am hoping for the best. So, unfortunately before, and every time before, I just, either I wasn't getting lucky, and or while I was fumbling, also, just every time I fumbled, like if I see one of those power globes that's too far away and I go for it, I think that's actually detrimental. And there's moments where I, I have to, what I have to do, what I did in that last run was right around, oh, I want to say halfway after you get, the halfway between the movement pylon and the lightning pylon, I have to focus heavily on the map and simply every time I move okay tap 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 move the left stick if I have to but if I see something glowing you know because I will glance up real quick and then okay move 
you know, okay, you're a big boy, I mean, you were glowing, maybe you're an elite, I'm not sure, but it turned out I don't think they are. They, they're really big golems, I don't think they were. But, you know, do the best I can. That's really all I can do. It's just so frustrating. That's why I really do not like challengers. But, this time I got it done. So I remember the last time I got it done, I, I don't remember having a specific material that's required for actually upgrading. I wasn't sure if they come from challenge rifts or not because I wasn't getting them from bounties, that's that much I know. I wasn't getting them from bounty caches, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up because the way he's talking, you get your challenge rift and bam, you have what you need to upgrade. You just need to get the two-handed scythe, then go get the cube, come back, upgrade the two-handed scythe, hope you get blood tide blade. Probably don't <laughs> because it's not a common drop, that's for sure, I, if I understand, if I remember correctly. So, because I've heard him mention it before, but this time he didn't mention how rare it is or not, but yeah, he says we're praying for Blood Tide Blade, which I forget what it does, but it's really good for necromancers. Really good. I think it's Death Nova related, but I could be wrong. So... I wanted to share something that was very hard and stressful for me, and that I can finally, finally start season 27 and start going ham. So I'm going to rebirth Zen here in a moment, and off we go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. Feel free to watch the rest of this, or don't if you don't want to. I fully understand. I'm just showcasing my, my mistakes and my failures here. So, that's why I put this last. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful night, wherever you live. And take good care of yourselves. I wish you the best. Until next time, or until later, if you're watching, which probably not at this point. But, yeah, take good care of yourselves. And then get me out. Thank you. 